Welcome back, dear traders! Whilst we traded with a mixed dynamics on a Tuesday, the key stock indexes managed to regain earlier losses but closed mixed. The Dow Jones closed the highly volatile session 0.4% down, and the Nasdaq gained 1.8%, and the S&P edged up 0.2%. The three benchmark indexes traded also mixed in the New York pre-market. They went up in the early trading hours. Today, market sentiment on Wall Street depends on the minutes of the Fed's policy meeting that will be released after trading floors are closed. That's why assets are likely to make erratic moves. The S&P 500 is expected to trade in the intraday calendar between 3,790 and 3,870 points. Despite the perfect storm in the global markets and the gloomy forecast for reputable think tanks, the U.S. stock market showed remarkable resilience yesterday. Companies with a large market capitalization like Meta and Alphabet provided the Nasdaq with a notable support. The S&P 500 looked just minor gains as 8 from its 11 sectors closed in the red. The best performer was the telecommunications sector. The energy sector tumbled following a 5% slump in oil prices. Today, U.S. top stock indexes are trading mixed. The same is true about high-tech giants such as Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, Meta and Microsoft. High-impact reports such as the ISM non-manufacturing PMI job openings and the Fed's minutes could set the market in motion. The stock market is facing a challenge due to recession fears and aggressive measures against inflation. Traders have already priced in another rate hike by 75 basis points in late July. Now they are looking for clues for, uh, to further policy moves in the Fed's minutes. The US dollar index printed a new 20-year high at 107 points and quickly kicked off to 106.9. The intraday corridor for the index is seen between 106.60 and 107.40. The US dollar stunning rally is triggered by recession fears and a risk aversion. A minor technical correction is likely to follow. The bullish outlook rests on solid fundamentals, unlike the euro and the pound sterling. The euro plummeted on the back of the energy crisis and worries about a slowdown in advanced EU economies. The Stalin is losing ground in the light of the resignation of two ministers in a Boris Johnson's cabinet. Speaking about inflation risks, the US Fed has implemented the most aggressive moves in the fight against inflation. So, analysts are bullish about the US dollar. The US decard pair has been stuck at around 1.3000. The intraday corridor for the pair is a scene between 1.2990 and 1.3060. Yesterday, the USD card pair climbed to May's highs at 1.3080 and made a significant decline in the oil prices and the greenbacks rally. Today, jitters on the oil market have come down and prices began the recovery. Following an 8% and 9% slump in the benchmark oil grades on a Tuesday, WTI and Brand crude managed to rebound to $100 and $104 a barrel today. The recovery was driven by the news that the Norwegian government took auction to deal with the strike over oil and gas drillers. The strike could have slashed gas imports by almost 60% and worsened the simmering energy crisis. Nevertheless, a bounce in the oil market did not last for long. WTI dropped 1.82% in the early trading hours to $97.88 a barrel. Brand crude fell 1.32% to trade at $101.44 a barrel. The loony could extend its weakness. Bitcoin has been trading in the range between 19,500 and 20,200 for the last two sessions. The crypto is unable to exit the flat market. Today, the flagship token is hovering at about 20,000 with a downward bias. In any case, the crypto settles above $20,350, Bitcoin will be able to regain bullish momentum. The more probable scenario is that the token will decline again to $19,500.
let me remind you that markets are still trading on the high volatility. And this New York session is a no exception. Trade prudently when markets are on a roller coaster and see you tomorrow.